Hey everybody, Chris here, coming to show you some more yard sale, thrift store finds. No flea market this week. I uh, decided, started to feel like kind of a bit of a waste of time. Um, but yeah, lots of, lots of yard sale, lots of thrift store. So um, start over here as usual. Uh, Goodwill Outlet. I found a copy of Ultimate Werewolf Deluxe Edition. Uh, probably goes for about 12. Also found a... TI-83 Plus, I haven't checked that out yet. Found a copy of Carcassonne, Carcassonne The Discovery at uh, Savers, I think that was $2.99. Copy of Taboo Sealed, $3.99, that will go for about $20 something. I'll probably hold on to Carcassonne, um, depending on if I like it or not. Found Munchkin Zombies, that was $2.99 at Savers. It felt really full, so I just figured there were expansions in it. When I op opened it up, it was about a dollar or so worth of pennies in there. So, um, really it only cost $1.99. Probably get about 15 for that, because I actually do have a copy of Munchkin Zombies, so I won't hold on to that. A uh, copy of What Were You Thinking, and that was $3 or $4.99 at Savers. I'll go for about 40 Goodwill Outlet, got Dixit. I think that's about a 25 maybe $30 game. Uh, under that, I was pretty happy. Found a boxed Sega CD at a yard sale. Uh, I think I paid 40 for it. Uh, I don't think it has the power cord, but um, that's fine. Next to that, we got a copy of Super Dungeon Explorer. I paid $5 at a yard sale for that. Um, it looks like it could go for over a hundred. I'm not really sure, but, uh, here's hoping. Over there, got a copy of Axis and Allies. I picked that up off Facebook for $3. It's sealed. Uh, that'll go for about 120, 130, I believe. Under that's Jenga. Um, the Vintage Game Collection. That usually goes for about 45, 50. Uh, next to that's a sealed copy of Trivial Pursuit. I got that and two sealed copies of Turbo, which is apparently based off a Sega game, but I had never heard of it. I paid ten dollars for the three of those. Um, Trivial Pursuit will go for about thirty, thirty-five, and uh, I'm not sure about Turbo. I'm not sure how often that sells, so uh, I would guess anywhere from thirty to maybe like ninety. Who knows? Uh, go under that real quick got a couple VCRs actually had a couple VCRs that it were gonna be in the last video but they already sold but uh, yeah those will go for about 70 each next to that copy of Buffy the Vampire Slayer got that for 50 cents at a yard sale um, still floating around 45 50 on that a copy of the chronology sports edition I think uh, Let's see, that was four ninety nine at Salvation Army. Um, I know the sports edition isn't that popular, but sealed, I figured I'd pick it up. I think it'll go for 30 uh, maybe $40. Um, let's swing back over here. Got a couple graphing calculators yesterday at Savers. I think one was four ninety nine. the other one was six ninety nine. It's a TI-85 and a TI-82. Those will both go for around 15, 20. Uh, under that iPod, picked that up at a uh, yard sale for 10 bucks. That'll go for about 60 or so. Um, Sony Sports Walkman, got that at Savers, 2.99. That'll go for about 15, 20. I mentioned this in the last video. Uh, $8, uh, Boss RC20 loop station. Uh, I still have not tested it out. So, um, still seems like it'll probably go for about 120. Then uh, I got a uh, man bat from the Batman uh, action figure sealed. The backing's a, a little weary but I think uh, I think I'll still get 25-30 for him. So a little Wii over there for $9.99 at Savers. Didn't come with anything else but I have enough of the other stuff lying around from all the other Wiis I bought. Um, some Polaroids, got a One Step Close-Up, a Sun 600, a One Step, and a SX-70 LAN camera. Yeah, I paid $20 for the LAN camera. Uh, I found one earlier in the day, but it didn't have the the door release for the film on it. Uh, the guy wanted 40 for it, 
but I wasn't gonna pay him forty dollars for a broken camera. But I bought this one that looks almost perfect for twenty. The others, uh, I don't think I paid more than five dollars for any of them. Um, they've become a little less popular. Those other ones in the back, uh, the Sun will probably sell for about thirty, thirty-five. The other two are floating around like 20 right now, which isn't the greatest. But um, around Christmas, they'll probably pop back up. Then got a little Sony voice recorder for $2 at a yard sale. Or, no, it's a G. Um, I'm not sure how much that'll go for. Next, that's an Apple mouse. Uh, I couldn't get it to connect to my laptop, so I'm still not sure if it will work. I'm going to try it with my Mac Mini later. Um, I'm not sure how much that one goes for, probably around 20 or 30. Uh, got a bunch of Game Boy stuff. Picked up the, the pink SP at, um, at a yard sale with just a ton of this other stuff that I'll show you. I think I paid 160 altogether with everything I'm gonna show you. Uh, the, the silver original DS also came with it. It's got a broken hinge, but it works. Um, next to that, there's a red SP that was $20 at Savers, but I had a 20% off code or whatever. They have a new rewards program. For every $100 you spend, you get a 20% off coupon. Um, I've already gotten three so far. Uh, I've used two, but I um, also got a Game Boy Color and this DS at the same one. I Let's see, I think this was 25 minus the 20%. This is 9.99, yep. And I think that was 19.99. SP's still rolling around 45 to 60. Uh, Game Boy Color, once I get a battery cover, that'll go for about 30 DS light. Probably about 45, maybe 50. Uh, then a little Pokemon Emerald SP case got that a goodwill outlet uh, i'm not sure how much that'll go for i think they usually go for about 10 or 20. got a copy of lego heroica um Drada sealed uh, i'm not 100 sure if it's really sealed because uh, i know most most legos come with these black um tape but this is one of the board game ones so i'm gonna look into whether that's really new 499 savers it was nine dollars somewhere else. Um, got a copy of Yahtzee Junior. Toy Story this is the older one, but that'll go for probably about twenty-five sealed. Paid three ninety-nine. Copy of Pirates Dice. That's about thirty thirty-five, and then under that's the best of chronology. I think I found that at Goodwill uh, outlet as well, so I didn't pay too much for that. Um, looks like that goes for about 40 so I'm glad to find that. And then a copy of Perudo, which uh, I've never had this version before, I don't think. But um, that's complete. That'll go for about 35 Then um, got a got an Xbox 360 there for $3 at a yard sale last week. Uh, I've not tested it. That's all that came with it. If it works or it doesn't, it's worth at least 10, 15 bucks as is. Got a couple Disney movies, Cinderella and Lady and the Tramp Sealed. I think this was two and this was five at Goodwill. Um, they'll go for about 10, $12 each. I kind of stopped getting Disney movies because um, they just weren't going for as much as they used to. And uh, Drop down here, got a little Sony radio. I think that'll go for about 15, 20. At Goodwill Outlet, um, same thing, a little sealed uh, 8mm tape, uh, it'll go for a few bucks. Um, pay two ninety nine for some sealed uh, mini DVDs uh, for a handy cam, um, this will go for about 9 10 dollars. And then uh, I mainly got it because there was an open one in it, and I've had a I've had a handy cam lying around that I'm not sure if it works because I don't have a DVD. So I'm gonna finally test that out. Then um, go over this in a minute. Uh, got these RPG books, Iron Kingdoms. Came with uh, came with some of this other stuff, another book, and the screen. Um, got that at a yard sale with um, 
Dungeon Explorer, and a couple couple video games. I think it's like Black Ops and something else. Um, Ten dollars altogether. Uh, I think the core book looks like it goes for forty five, which um, sounds high to me. And uh, I'm not sure about this other stuff. And then um, go over this little pile of games. Uh, this I pay, what do I think I pay twenty three maybe for all this. Uh, or 21 I also got that mini recorder at the same yard sale uh, so I got a copy of Dream Master I think it's about a $12 game and then uh, boxed games which are always pleasant surprise uh, The Little Mermaid, Capcom it's complete, Tailspin and uh, MC Kids they also had uh, Vegas Dreams in the box but I didn't bother um, I think this card only is about 12 15 so open about 20 to 30 like tailspin it'll go for about 20 or 30 and little mermaid probably like 20 25 maybe more i haven't really checked into complete copies on these um and then i th think that's it besides okay so as i said earlier i paid 120 for a big lot of stuff it came, or 160, it came with that GameCube, uh, that P, that Slim PS2, the N64, the Pink SP, the Silver DS Lite, and then just most of these games. And um, I'm, I'm gonna get to the best part uh, right now. So there's a sealed copy of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, pretty pretty happy to find that uh, I don't know that they knew what it was because uh, they had the N64 and the the other games right there um, separate but this was just in a box with DVDs and other games so uh, super happy to find that it looks like you get anywhere from 200 and 250 the box is a little it's not perfect um, as you can see there, it's like a little, little dented on the side, but I think still somewhere between 200 and 250 for that. Um, super awesome find. Uh, and I'll get into these little games. Uh, this actually came inside of the DS Lite, uh, My, Sims, My Sims Kingdom, uh, inside of the Silver D or inside of the Red SP, sorry, was American Idol. And then uh, the rest of this was between two different yard sales. So uh, got Bratz, Operation, Mousetrap, Simon, Madagascar, Super Mario 64 DS, which I just sold the copy from last video for 32. You get about 25 for that one. I'm not sure why it's so high now. Um, Metroid Prime First Hunt, uh, Spider Man. Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red, uh, another Bratz game, uh, three copies of Sonic Rush, um, one was from one yard sale, two were from the big lot, Hannah Montana, just whatever, uh, a couple copies of Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games, uh, three different Nintendogs, and Diddy Kong Racing. And then, um, go to this little lot. So we got, um, Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000, Wave Race, Mario Tennis, Diddy Kong Racing, Snowboard Kids, which I've never had that. That's great. I think that's about 25, 35. Um, I had the manual for two, which that sold for 35, so... Uh, great to find that Pokemon Stadium too, which is uh, uh, I'm not sure how much it goes for now. I think the last time I had it, it sold for fifty. I guess it's a little bit less right now. And then uh, they also randomly had original Nintendo games. They couldn't find their original Nintendo. I'm sure they had one floating around somewhere. But uh, Mario Duck Hunt, Paperboy, RC Pro Am, and Kung Fu. So those are pretty decent ones to find. Kung Fu is about 12, 15, RC Pro Am is about 9, Paperboy, uh, I'm not sure, I think the NES one goes for about 20, and uh, Mario Duck Hunt's always fluctuating, and then, 
go to this stack. This is the stack uh, that I'm not sure. Um, so got Wii Sports at uh, Goodwill Outlet. Um, Dungeons and Dragon Tactics. I didn't realize it was a Europe game until after I bought it. I think this goes for about $15. I'm not sure if the UK one or the European one will. Um, Goosebumps the game. 399 savers. I'll go for about 12. Uh, Ape Escape. 299 Salvation Army. Twisted Metal. 299. Risk 2. Salvation Army. 299. Uh, another Risk 2. This was $1.99 savers. Um, Batman. Lego Batman 3. Uh, this was three ninety nine sabers, but uh, I used this with the twenty percent off. I got that with those Game Boys and DS. Um, I'm not sure if I own this. Uh, I know I have it on PlayStation Four and Vita digitally. I'm not sure if I have it on PS3, so I might hold on to that. We'll find out. Uh, Smarty Pants and Savers three ninety nine. This looks like it goes for a twenty twenty five. Which is surprising because it just looks like another random shovelware game. Uh, these are both six dollars at a local thrift store. Um, WRC five. I'm not even sure what that stands for. Um, World Rally Cross maybe. And uh, WWE 2K16. These will both go for about. Uh, actually, I think this will go for about fifteen twenty. Uh, WWE will go for about 12. Uh, Final Fantasy 11 Online Ultimate Collection. Let's see, 4.99 at Salvation Army. I think that'll go for about 15. Uh, Goosebumps Horrorland. Um, not. Sh oh, there we go. 2.99 at Salvation Army. That looked like it was about 15.20. Mario Kart Wii. Um, I think this came. With the big lot of stuff. They also had a Wii and picked out all the Mario games. Because they wanted to keep those. And then um, they wanted way too much for the Wii. And what games were left. So um, I didn't pick that up. But um, yep. Copy of Black Ops. Uh, was also part of that big lot. Halo. Um, I picked up this. I picked up a stack of Xbox and Xbox 360 games at another yard sale. I think I paid 20. Um, so I got Halo, I Ninja, uh, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Counter Strike, and Halo 2. So I haven't tested any of those yet. They look kind of scratched up, which is a shame because those are probably the best games um, that were part of it. And then, uh, These all came in that big lot, too. We got Mario Kart DS, Sonic All-Star Racing, Madden 09. I know that Mario and Luigi Inside, uh, Bowser's Inside Story also came with it, but it already sold for 22. Uh, Touchmaster, uh, Mario Party DS, Spyro the Eternal Knight, John DeLife SpongeBob, New Super Mario Bros. Actually, there were two copies, but uh, one of them I just could not get to work. Um, I think this is Club Penguin. Uh, Crash, Mind Over Mutant. Uh, this was part of that Xbox lot. It was inside I, some random case. For Sniper Ghost Warrior, I think. It's, uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed 2. I never played this one, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Um, part of that big lot was, uh, Chrono Cross and Heart of Darkness. Um, I always think Chrono Cross should be more. It's only about nine dollar game, I think. I think this. I think Chrono Cross you can still buy on the Square Enix website, and I think that's why it's so cheap. I think it's only fifteen dollars new for a Grey's Hits copy, and then a Heart of Darkness I think goes for a twenty. Then uh, we got Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty Two. Mortal Kombat vs. DC, Halo Reach, it's already sold for 5, Halo 3, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Republic Commando, which, uh, that's actually taken a tank. Um, this used to be about $30 game, I think it's only about 15 now. 
uh, Plants vs. Zombies. I think this came with, uh, came with the Dungeon Explorer. Uh, Sonic Generations, Grand Theft Auto 4, NCA 06 Football, Zathura, Ghost Recon, uh, X-Men 3, the official game, King Kong, and Sims 3. So yeah, that was everything. Um, yeah, definitely super excited for Majora's Mask. Should not keep anything on top of it. But, uh... Yeah, super happy about that. This is the second sealed Zelda game I've ever found. I found Oracle of Seasons a while back. That was sold for like 120 or 130 or something like that. But uh, yeah, uh, so that was everything. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, definitely going to be more frequent with the videos. I think this one will go up pretty soon after the last one. So uh, let's see if I can keep that up. So uh, thanks and bye everyone.